In this lesson, I'm going to be showing you guys data types and if statement. To begin, some more data types that I want to introduce to you guys is the char and the boolean. Data types that we've learned so far have been uh, int and double. We also have other data types called byte, float, long, and short. But the main data types that we will be using will be char, boolean, string, double, and int. Alright. Can we give you guys an idea of the range of numbers you can use with data types? Is let's say you have an exceptionally large number, like the long. It's, it has nine quintillion. That means it has eighteen zeros. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous. Uh, or you have an extremely small number, like a byte. A byte is from negative one twenty-eight to positive one twenty-seven meaning it has a range it can cover. So if we're working with really small data, we can use a byte in order to manipulate data because we don't need something large like in a double or int or a short or whatever we have. And we can use these values to build a program. Okay guys, let's start a new program. So file, new, Java project. We're going to name this Java Lesson 3. Hit OK. Right click, add a package. Three, hit OK. Into this package, right click, new, and then just put a class. And let's name this sound. Hit OK. We'll finish. Let's build ourselves our first method. So type public static void main string args and then give yourself two square brackets in that. Open up your curly brackets. Let's begin. Declare double distance and then what we're going to do is we're going to make distance equal to 7 times 2 times 1 oh, 1100 and then system dot out dot print line type the lightning is distance feet away in that press save. To show you guys more math, um, I want to know how many miles uh, this is. So let's declare ourselves another variable. Let's put double miles. And that's equal to 5,280. It may seem kind of weird that I'm using a double and yet I'm using a whole number. Well that's because when we divide these two numbers, um, if I use an int, I might need to the cast. I'll show you guys what I mean. Int. And then let's say I take this distance, put this in parentheses, and then divide it by miles. Let's run this without the manipulation. The lightning is 7,920 feet away. That means it needs to be about like two and a half miles. So if we did miles and then change this to a double, save it, run it, 1.5. All right. I wanted to show you guys one last thing, and that's going to be the if statement. So what we're going to do is we say if the distance is greater than 5,280, then what we're going to do is we're going to say we're going to convert it to miles. So we're going to take right here 
let's just copy and paste this line, copy, and then type the word else, give yourself two uh, curly brackets, enter, and place the code right there. So what we're saying is if this distance, when it's computed, is greater than 5,280, then what we're going to do is we're actually going to copy this again. And then delete that part of the code. So what we're doing now is that this will equal 7,000 something feet. What we're doing is once it goes past these comments, which it doesn't read, so the next thing it will see is if the distance is greater than one mile, then what we do is we divide it by miles, and that way we get the mile. Other than that, it's just going down to the else clause, which is like a default statement in the if statement, and it's just converting it, it's just going to keep it as feet. Alright. Show you what the output looks like. The lightning is 1.5 miles away. Let's multiply this by something small, like 150. The lightning is a thousand feet away. Let's do something larger, like 2,500. What we should do is pass this the distance variable. Oh, I'll show you guys something fun. Um, in um, programming, we have we have a shortcut we can use. So, if we wanted to add distance e to miles, so we want to have distance equal distance plus miles. We put plus equals, and that's the same as writing distance equals distance plus miles. It's a shortcut method. What we can do here is division. You can do it with division, multiplication, subtraction. Is you do the division sign and you set it equal to miles. And now what it's doing is it's taking distance divided by uh, miles. So now it's the lightning is three point blah 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 miles away. See how that works? So now all we have to do is change one variable and now it's going to pass the value of that. Alright, I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.